Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm very excited. I've been talking about this for a while, but I'm going to be doing my Tom Ford rankings. So I'm going to be ranking all of my Tom Ford quads from my least to my most favorite. So I think this is a really great resource for you if you are looking into purchasing your first Tom Ford quad or any Tom Ford quad, not just your first. I do have 20 quads that I'm going to talk about today. So if you are interested in seeing my rankings, then just keep watching. Finally, it's here. If you've been watching my videos recently, you know I've been wearing a lot of Tom Ford quads. It's because I've been preparing for this video. I worked very hard on this video because I wanted to bring you the most accurate information as I possibly could as far as my experiences with them and giving you looks for some inspiration as well so that you can make the decision on what Tom Ford quad you would like to buy if you are looking to purchase some quads from Tom Ford. I get asked this all the time. Do you think Tom Ford quads are actually worth it? Because they are $88 for four shades and here is my personal opinion clearly I love Tom Ford quads I think they are a beautiful formula however $88 if you do not have a disposable income where you can afford to drop $88 on a palette you absolutely do not need to purchase a Tom Ford quad you can live without Tom Ford quads I definitely don't think they are a necessity however if you do have the extra money or you've saved up specifically to own a Tom Ford quad because you really want that luxury experience I do think they are worth it. I think that the Tom Ford formula is very unique. The finish on the eye is very elegant. It's very soft and most of the time it's a look that you can't replicate from other brands. One thing to know about Tom Ford eyeshadows is that it's not about intensity or precision as far as eye makeup goes. It's about elegance and simplicity and just a really pretty blown out look for the most part. In my personal opinion where Tom Ford gets it right is with his smoky palettes. So if you're a smoky eye lover, I personally find the Tom Ford formula to be the best. He has some quads that I think create the most beautiful balloon out smoky eye with ease. So that is where I think his specialty is. I will get more into his formulas and my preferences as we start the rankings. So like I said, I have 20 palettes. Now I got into Tom Ford because I was very lucky. I stumbled across a cosmetic company store that was having 60% off of all of their Tom Ford palettes. Now most of them were discontinued so I will specify in the videos which palettes are available for purchase and which ones were discontinued. So the majority of the discontinued ones are the ones that I got at 60% off, but that was my first introduction to Tom Ford. So a lot of this collection I did not pay full price for, but a lot of this collection I also did because after I experienced that formula for the first time, I was hooked. I drank the Kool-Aid. And I think when it comes to Tom Ford, it does take a special kind of eye to really see what is unique about the formula because some people just don't see it. And that's understandable for 88 three years ago I wouldn't have saw it either but I just love the way it sits on the skin the way that they blend the way that they blend seamlessly together and the finish on the eye oh, just so elegant anyways we're gonna get started with number 20 my least favorite quad this one is currently available don't know that I would recommend it though but this is the badass quad and this should not surprise you guys because I actually just recently did a shot my stash where I did try this palette for the first time because it is one of the newest ones that I've purchased and I'm just not a fan of the formula in here. Of all the quads that I have, this formula is different from the rest. The formula here feels very tacky. This shade right here doesn't show up. This shade right here, it looks like a beautiful reddish aubergine plum kind of color and it just shows up completely gray on my eyelid. And then these two bottom colors right here, they're okay. Like this one is very pretty and the black is fine. But for $88, this palette's not good. It took a lot for me to to get a look that I liked. The work that was required, it's ridiculous, and I just do not like this quad. So that is why this is ranked last. I don't recommend it. I don't think you should make this your first purchase, and I personally just did not have a very good experience with this one. Moving in at number 19, we have Seductive Rose. Now, Seductive Rose is currently available, and I do think it's pretty, but it's just not worth the money, in my personal opinion. If you like a very simple look, I think you would like this. What kind of turns me off about this palette is this shade right here. It is pretty, but it's very hard to build depth with it. It is a little bit deeper, but the thing I like the least about this quad are these two colors, 
look the same. There really is no difference between one or the other. For $22 the shade, I feel like they should look different. And they don't carry much pigmentation either. Tom Ford has a very unique glitter formula in his line and it's like beautiful. It's not even glitter, but it has this sparkle that's so unique, so well done, so fine. These just look the same. There's really not much color to it. You do get that glitter finish, which I do like, but I would like it in one shade, not two. And I would like another shimmer shade that has pigmentation or kind of a base. So this quad just wasn't worth it to me also. I think it's pretty, but it's just not all that for me. Moving on to 18, we have Golden Mink. Golden Mink is also still available. And honestly, now that I'm kind of staring at it, I really do like this palette. So coming up from this point is where I start enjoying the palettes more. So even though this is ranked at number 18, I don't think it's a bad palette. Again, these top two shades I find to be a little bit too similar to justify the price. Both of them are very pretty, but neither of them have much pigmentation to them. They feel a little bit dry. And just like Seductive Roads, honestly, these colors look the same as the other two colors in Seductive Rose. I like this more because I just prefer the colors more. These two are very nice quality. If just one of these was in here and then this was a more pigmented actually like satin shade with pigmentation, I would definitely like this quad a lot more and rank it a lot higher. But every time I don't like a shade, that's $22 and that's just not acceptable in my opinion. I think this is the only one that I don't have a photo for, but it's like a pretty nondescript palette. So, <laughs> so this next one is a discontinued one. So if you did want it you kind of can't grab it but this is starry night and I did struggle to put this as low as I did but that was because the quality in here just isn't up to the standards that I have for Tom Ford I think this is a beautiful quad first of all the look that I created with it. I was obsessed with, you guys loved it as well. It was just the most beautiful, navy, smoky, glittery eye. And again, this is where I start to talk about his smoky palettes are great. So this is great for a beautiful navy smoky eye. This palette definitely required more work than others that I have in his collection. I found this top color right here to be quite chalky, honestly, almost like a more cheap shadow. And it was a little bit unflattering on the eyes. Powder got everywhere. The shimmer just wasn't very flattering. The navy required some work. The real saving grace for me, in my opinion, is the glitter shade here. Now this glitter shade, again, is sheer, but doesn't feel as dry. And it actually has a purpose like this shade shade is so beautiful and this is what made this palette and made that look really beautiful with that sparkle in the center of the eye. So I don't dislike this palette. I'm actually happy that I do own it but it definitely requires some more work compared to the others. Moving on to number 15 we have Virgin Orchid. Now this one is available and it is very pretty but I was just a little bit underwhelmed by this palette. I don't think it's a bad palette. It's just based on my preferences for what I like. I wanted a little bit more from it. The look that I made was very pretty. It was a very neutral, subtle, mauve rose eye look, and I think a lot of you would actually like this quad a lot. For me, I was very underwhelmed by it. My look, I wasn't feeling my makeup that day. I thought it looked okay. This is pretty. I think the quality is pretty good. You can't get much depth from this palette, so just keep that in mind, but compared to all the other greatness that is Tom Ford, this one kind of got shoved back. If I say the numbers wrong, I'm sorry. I think this is number 15, but we have Body Heat, and I think this might surprise a lot of you, but something about this just looked a little bit off to me. I think that sometimes just with the finish of these shadows, they can tend to look a little bit patchy, and I would expect that from more of his palettes, but this is the only one that I noticed because of the shimmers here. It does look a little bit patchy on my eyelid. I think you can create beautiful looks, but I really do feel that this quad does require a matte. I'm not a fan of this cranberry. I just find it to be unflattering on the eye, but for the most part, like this is a nice palette. It's a really good formula. The colors are very wearable and it reminds me a lot of Honeymoon, which is what I'm wearing, but I like Honeymoon more. So this one, for me, just feels like a wannabe Honeymoon quad, and it is nice. These are more warm neutrals, but you do have this cool shade right here. It's a nice palette. It just doesn't stand out to me. So number 14, we have Soleil Diver, and this, like, I really like this palette. The only reason why I'm ranking it where I am is because it does not have much depth, for this quad, the only thing you're going to get is a glowy eyelid. There isn't enough 
depth between each shade. They just kind of all stay within the same shade or tone. But I think each of the colors here individually are beautiful. I think that they all look beautiful on the eyelid and create a beautiful look. But I just think that using any of these shades, they kind of look the same on your eyelid. But it's a stunning glowing quad. That's just the only thing I noticed. So I think if you have a deeper skin tone, you might struggle with this. If you are more on the fair side, you actually will really like this. It's a very pretty look. So if you want that glowing Tom Tom Ford eyelid. This is really beautiful and it is limited edition and Tom Ford is known to discontinue items that people love. He does not care. So if you are interested in this quad, I would recommend you pick it up just for the purpose that it will be discontinued. So that is Soleil Diver. So number 13 may surprise you guys. It is a nice palette. I do like it, but this is Suspicion and I really like Suspicion. I think that if you are a gold lover, this is the quad that you're going to want to pick up. For me, I just have a lot of gold golds in my collection that this one didn't really stand out to me but I do really like this one. It's a beautiful golden palette. You get different tones. You can get a bright gold, a bronzy gold, a brown based gold and then you have this shade right here which is gorgeous all over the lid. I think for me I would prefer if this quad had more depth. I got it all over really pretty golden eye look but I think for the way that I like to wear my golds this just doesn't contain the colors that I need which of course it's easy enough to dig into another palette but as far as ranking these this is just where it falls. It's a beautiful quad and I highly recommend it if you love golds. This is very, very nice. I enjoy it a lot. So number 12, this one is discontinued so unfortunately you can't grab it but this is Titanium Smoke and I love this quad. This is what I mean when Tom Ford just creates the most beautiful smoky quads. This black is ridiculous. This shade right here makes a really great transition color so this is going to be a very cool gray smoky eye that you're going to get. I just think if you're into these tones, this one is very beautiful. I like the quality. You have satins, mattes, glitters in here. It's a really great range as far as texture goes. So I enjoy this one. I don't want to talk about it too much because it is discontinued, but that's where that one ranks. This one is also discontinued. This is Silver Topaz. This is what falls into number 11. Now for this one, immediately you cannot get much depth from this palette. And when I first used it, I just used these three shades and I was actually quite underwhelmed by this quad. But what amped it up all the way up into this spot is this shade right here because all of a sudden I have the most beautiful light gray eye. This shade right here makes your eyelids look wet. This is one of my favorite shades from Tom Ford out of his whole line. I love the gray look that this creates. Now you can't get a lot of different looks with this quad but I love the one look that you can get so much. That's why I put that there. It's just beautiful. This is the last discontinued one for a while I promise but this this one is Last Dance and oh, I love this one and truly this is ranking so high because of this blue shade right here. I wore this in a video and you guys were obsessed. I basically just kind of put these colors out on my crease and then I popped this all over the eyelid and I'm obsessed with this blue. It's incredible, truly. One of my favorite shades also from Tom Ford. For me, what made this quad worth it <laughs> is this shade right here. I think it is stunning. The other colors work great too, but the star of the show is the only reason why I, I grabbed for this palette, but it's beautiful for that glittery blue smoky eye. Unfortunately, it is discontinued, but I wish it was still available because the look it creates is out of this world. Let's move on to number nine. This is one of my favorite classic smoky eye quads in my collection. This is Double Indemnity. This is fairly new. It came out last year. You have a black glittery shade that in my look with this, I put it all over my lid. I started with that and it was just the most incredible smoky eye. If I'm gonna go smoky, I'm gonna add glitter as well. Why not? And the other shades around it are also so complimentary. And what Tom Ford does amazing is his satin formula. It would scare you into thinking that it's not gonna work because you need mattes, but no, there's something very special about his formula to where you don't need mattes. It honestly, creates a very ethereal look onto your eye and so this for me is the star of the show and these are just the background to complement it and I just think it's a beautiful smoky eye quad so love double indemnity. Moving on to number eight. I'm very surprised that this ranked at number eight because it was one of my favorites last year but I think just for what I'm comfortable with wearing and the creativity that I felt with the others I put this one here. So this is African Violet. I wore this in I I believe it was yesterday's video and it is 
so stunning. I think it's one of the most unique in Tom Ford's line. So if you're looking for one of his more unique palettes, I highly recommend this one. It is a more warm palette. And without this purple, it actually is a very warm, bronzy kind of eye, which I think is so beautiful for the summer. This is going to be one of my favorite summer palettes. But I love the way that the purple blends into the orange. It almost creates this really warm pink shade. And overall, I think the purple is a really nice touch. And I used this a lot last summer and that's why it ended up in my yearly favorites but honestly once summer ended I didn't really grab for it as much and I love it though it is so pretty and I think a lot of you are going to like it I just have others that I like more at this point but I do really enjoy this one and it's very unique and if you like warm shades and you like a pop of purple you will really enjoy this one moving on to number seven this is one from his winter collection all of the ones that you see with the white packaging is from winter and this is Soleil et Lune and <laughs> This one I enjoy because of how unique and icy it is. This again is limited edition so if you are interested please pick it up now before he gets rid of it for good. Oh, I love this. This is not me at all. These aren't tones that I typically wear and you can't get much depth with this palette but that is completely okay. I'll pair it with other colors if I want. I love the mint shade that we have here. You have an all over kind of skin tone peach shade. You have a white to highlight and a cool silver gray that Tom Ford does so well. So I love this quad. You don't get any of that great glittery formula that I love but you have his wet dry formula that is really beautiful and if these colors interest you it's a very different quad and I think that's what I love about it so much and not only is it different but it's a beautiful color selection so if you kind of like icy vibes ice princess I love this one moving in at number six it's also from his winter collection and this is Soleil Neige this is my favorite smoky palette that he has in his line now this one isn't traditional like double indemnity this one has a play on a navy smoky eye a black smoky eye an icy centerpiece here or you have this beautiful kind of taupey shade. The tones in here speak to me as far as smoky eyes go and I like how you can change it up between a navy or a black and I just love the taupe and the white as well. You can go in a lot of different directions I feel with this smoky quad. Limited edition if you're interested in this, pick it up while you can. This really gives you an effortless smoky eye that I enjoy a lot. So number five, this is discontinued but they did come out with an alternative. <sighs> I'm gonna break your guys' heart because it's Coco Mirage and I know so many of you have a a deep connection with Coco Mirage. This is an all matte palette and it truly is just a formulation that is so good, so buttery, so smooth, so pigmented. This does the work for you. You pop your brush in and I feel like it's already just applied and blended beautifully. Also, this is a great quad to pair with his other quads that don't have a matte if you really feel like you need a matte. I love using this dark brown just for shadow liner. It is such a solid quad that is so reliable. It is discontinued. However, he did come out with an alternative. I believe it's called Minx Mirage. It's a little bit different, but it has a little bit more variety and the tones that I actually think could be more helpful. I don't own that one. If you want an all matte quad from Tom Ford, I'm sure that is just as amazing as this. This is going to be linked with the Mink Mirage that's still available for you to pick up, but he has a beautiful matte formula. So that's kind of like a staple matte palette in my opinion. I highly recommend. To number four, this is the one that I'm wearing on my eyelids today and this is like a semi-warm neutral kind of look and I love it. This looks so sophisticated. It's so beautiful. Oh, the glow that my eye has, I'm obsessed. This is Honeymoon. This is kind of a classic one from Tom Ford, highly loved. And I think it has some depth in there for deeper skin tones. It just has some beautiful, warm colors. So rich, so shiny. I love this one. It's so good. Just so you know how I applied today, this was my crease color, which looks odd. Doesn't it look like it shouldn't be a crease color? Well, it does. It looks great. And then I used this color to deepen. I used this all over my lid wet. So I did wet my brush because he has a great formula that works very well with water. And then I used the cranberryish reddish shade along my lower lash line just to add some warmth. And I mean, the proof is in the pudding. This is really a stunning quad. So if you are looking for a great palette for the summer or for the fall, I mean, this is great all year round, but this makes me think of summer vibes. I love this one. This is 
a good one if you're looking for a good neutral but if you want something a little bit more on the cooler side so if you're looking for a warm neutral I'd go with honeymoon if you're looking for a cool neutral we're gonna move on to number three which is nude dip you guys know I'm all about the cool tone neutrals I love nude dip this is another one that is loved by so many this one pairs very well with Coco Mirage those are like hand in hand but I think it would pair well with Mink Mirage as well just a neutral lovers fantasy truly so honestly this is one that I would recommend as a first time Tom Ford purchase this or honeymoon just depending on what your preferences are new dip is probably the one I highly recommend most as far as neutral lovers go I think if you're starting off a Tom Ford collection you need to own new dip because it is so deeply loved by many and it's a beautiful quad it really is moving on to number two one and two is a toss-up they're both purple palettes what can I say you guys know I love purple we're gonna talk about this one is number two this one is still available for purchase and this is pretty baby and I think I turned a lot of you guys onto this quad because I wore it in I believe it was my quarantine makeup haul recently and you guys were obsessed with my eye look and I didn't film it but I'm about to show you what I did for that look so that you guys don't have to ask anymore and it's seriously so so simple. All right, so listen up if you want to know how I did that look. This is a shade I used in the crease as my transition. Then I smoked out on my outer V this deeper shade. And at this point, I wasn't that impressed with this quad. I was like, Meh. but it is this shade that's going to save the day. So transition outer corner and this I just used my finger and I applied it all over and this changed the game this quad flew to the top of my favorites list it's this beautiful blue purple duochrome it feels beautiful when you swatch it it looks even more beautiful on the eye so i only use those three shades for that makeup look and you guys are obsessed with it and if you like purples you're going to love this one this one is the more neutral wearable purple of his collection so if you're looking for a more wearable ish kind of purple palette i would go with this because you don't even need to use that duochrome you have these three shades which really play on a more wearable purple tone palette so I love this one highly recommend it it is stunning so let's move on to my number one favorite which is sold out everywhere at this point I don't know if it's coming back but I really hope it does if it comes back somebody let me know and then I'll send the word out to you guys but I kind of lied in yesterday's video because I said this might not be my number one favorite for Tom Ford I haven't ranked them yet and I <laughs> It is my favorite, okay? It's my number one favorite because you guys know my strong attachment to purples. So this is the Daydream Quad, which should be not a surprise if you're a regular on my channel. I love this purple toned quad. I think there's not a lot of eyeshadows that play with purples in these tones, so I feel like that's what makes this very unique. So here you have a silver-based purple, a blue-based purple, another kind of silver lavender purple, and this brighter, just regular purple shade right here. They're all his beautiful satin formula, and I just love the look that I could get with this quad. I find it to be one of the most unique purple quads. It gives you the most beautiful, vibrant purple eye. You can play around with different tones. You can pair it with different palettes to get a different kind of look. I just love this quad so much. It's one of my favorite purple quads. There we have it. That was my Tom Ford ranking of my eye quads. And don't let the rankings fool you. Just because something ranked low for me, I still probably have reasons to recommend it to a certain type of person. These are just aligned to my personal preferences and to what I actually wear and what I actually use. I hope this video helped you if you were looking to make a Tom Ford purchase. I love my quads. I think they all are beautiful. And one thing about the quads that I want to note is that sometimes in the pan they look so boring, but don't judge a book by its cover because with Tom Ford's stuff especially when you put them on the eyes that's where you really see kind of what you're working with and truly I just think that he has a very unique formula that a lot of brands can't replicate. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Up next I plan on ranking my Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that over the next few weeks. I hope you guys are staying safe, staying in your home and are all feeling well and healthy and keeping everybody and your family safe. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.